Toxic Fairy Tales. A teleporting cape and a stone egg. Once upon a time, there was a young and kind-hearted hunter named Daniel. Daniel often hunted and hung out in the forest. One day, while walking, Daniel met an old woman on the side of the road, who looked exhausted and hungry. Without thinking, he immediately brought his food and drink to the poor woman. He also gave the woman his last three coins. Young man, you are such a kind person. For that, I will give you a gift. Oh, a gift? What is that, madam? Just follow this path. You will see a big old tree. There will be a magic cape and a stone egg on the tree. You can shoot down the tree branch to get them. That magic cape can transport you to anywhere in the world in the bling of an eye. And the stone egg, keep it with you always. Every morning when you wake up, you'll have one gold coin. The old woman disappeared immediately. <gasps> Daniel realized that he had met a kind fairy. So he happily followed her instructions. Just as the fairy described, Daniel found a magic cape huh? and a stone egg hanging on a big tree. He raised his bow and shot down the tree branch. The cape and the stone egg fell down in front of him. Daniel put the teleporting cape on and said, Please, take me back to my home. Instantly, Daniel found himself at home. Huh? He felt so excited about his magic cape. Since then, every morning when he woke up, Daniel found a gold coin under his pillow. Soon, he had a bag of gold coins. Daniel felt very happy and he decided to travel around the world. He kept walking until it was dark and he saw a beautiful old castle on a green grass field. Daniel happily walked in to ask to stay for the night. It was Princess Teresa's castle, but she was held captive by a powerful witch, Lena. The evil witch saw Daniel. She told Teresa, Princess, that hunter just came out from the forest and he's carrying two treasures that I have wanted for a long time. You must help me get them by all means. You have controlled me and this castle of mine. It is not enough. Please do not harm martyrs. Teresa, if you don't do it, I will destroy this whole castle. Okay, I'll listen to you, but please don't destroy this castle. Now, that's a good girl. <laughs> Daniel walked into the castle. He was surprised that he was warmly welcomed by Lena and Teresa. Just seeing Teresa, the beautiful princess, Daniel really admired her beauty because he had never met a girl as beautiful as her. Princess Teresa wanted to warn Daniel, but then she thought of the castle her parents left for her. She couldn't risk destroying it. I'm Daniel. I'm traveling around the world. It's dark now, so I hope I could spend the night here. You can stay here for as long as you want. I'm Lena, owner of this castle, and this is my daughter, Teresa. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, ma'am. The witch pretended to be hospitable and invited Daniel to stay for a few days. Because of his affection for Princess Teresa, Daniel agreed. Every day, he had a chance to talk to her. Gradually, he became more and more in love with the beautiful and adorable princess. 
he was willing to do anything <laughs> Teresa requested. <laughs> Teresa also liked the funny young man. When the witch Lena found out, <laughs> she was very happy. Then she secretly called Teresa into her room and discussed an evil plan. This man carries a magic stone neck that can create gold coins. You have to get it for me. Knowing that she could not disobey the witch, Teresa had to follow her order. Hey, Daniel, why do you have so many gold coins? Daniel excitedly showed her the magic stone egg. All thanks to this magic stone egg, Teresa was very interested <laughs> in the stone egg. So she asked Daniel, "The egg's beautiful. Can you please let me keep it?" Of course, if you want to. Without any hesitation, he gave the princess the egg immediately. Teresa brought the stone egg to Lena. She excitedly <laughs> took it. Since then, every time the witch woke up, she found a gold coin under her pillow. She called Teresa in again. Very good. Now go and get me the teleporting cape that he. Always wears and bring it here. <laughs> Please, do not make me do that. Please let him keep the cape. He has lost all of his gold coins and wealth. Do it now, or not only will you be punished, but he will also be harmed. Don't. Please, do not hurt him. I will do it. Very good. I will give you this sleeping potion. You ask him to go to the mountain with you and let him drink this. He will fall asleep. Then you can take the cape and bring it back here to me. <laughs> Teresa felt very sad and didn't know what to do, but she couldn't disobey the witch. Otherwise, both of them would get hurt. Daniel. There are many beautiful gems in the mountain behind the castle. I want to go there, but only birds can fly there. Don't worry. With this magic cape, I can take you to anywhere in the world. Now, hold my hand. Take me to the Rocky Mountain. Immediately, Daniel and Teresa were transported to the Rocky Mountain. Around them were beautiful gems sparkling brightly. They were amused at the beautiful scene before their eyes. Teresa took out the sleeping potion and told Daniel, "It's the magic water I brought for you. Drink it before it loses its effect." Without a doubt, Daniel happily drank all the water. As soon as he finished, <gasps> Daniel fell down on Teresa's shoulder. He fell asleep. Teresa felt very guilty, but she didn't dare to disobey Lena. She took his teleporting cape and put her jacket on him. Teresa then said, "Take me to the castle." Teresa immediately returned to the castle. The witch Lena was waiting for her in the room. She happily snatched the magic cape. <laughs> Teresa felt very sad and worried about Daniel. She felt desperate because she had to leave him on the cold mountain all alone. When Daniel woke up, he was shocked to find out his magic teleporting cape had been stolen, and Teresa had disappeared. He felt extremely disappointed with Teresa. My God, I didn't think she could be that cruel. How could she fool me to get my treasures and leave me here alone? Feeling hungry and cold, Daniel put his hands into the pocket. Huh? He was surprised to find a delicious bread and a letter from Teresa. In the letter. Teresa told Daniel the story. She was controlled by the witch Lena, and could not go against her will. Otherwise, they would both be harmed. 
Knowing her suffering, Daniel decided to find a way to go back to the castle and save her. Daniel walked around to find a way out. Finally, he found a way to climb to the mountain top. Standing there, he saw the beautiful and colorful clouds floating right above his head. Daniel jumped onto a cloud. The cloud carried him and floated in the sky. Then the cloud slowly landed in a vegetable garden. Daniel looked at the garden in surprise. He saw two large vegetable plots in front of him. Feeling hungry, Daniel picked up some fresh and delicious raw vegetables to eat. Suddenly, Daniel's ears grew longer, and he turned into a donkey. <gasps> oh no! Why does bad luck keep following me? Daniel was still hungry. He continued to eat vegetables. After he ate the ones in the next plot, Daniel transformed back <gasps> to his human form. I got it! These are poisonous vegetables that turn me into a donkey. And these are detoxifying vegetables. I can defeat the witch Lena with them. Daniel picked a few kinds of vegetables from each side. He also disguised and blackened his face so no one would recognize him. He found his way back to the castle. The witch <laughs> Lena and Teresa did not recognize Daniel. I'm from the neighboring kingdom. I'm bringing precious vegetables back to the king. But now I'm exhausted. Please let me rest here for one night. When the witch heard of the precious vegetables, she really wanted to try. Hey, young man. Can I taste some of your precious vegetables? Daniel <gasps> pretended to be hesitant. Then he said, That's fine. I have a lot here. I guess I could give you some. Daniel gave the witch the poisonous vegetables. She happily accepted. After cooking, Lena invited Daniel to enjoy it with her. However, Lena was very devious. She waited for Daniel and Teresa to eat first. Then she followed. Daniel had anticipated that. He already put the detoxing vegetables on the plate. Then he ate the poisonous ones. All three of them turned into donkeys. Daniel immediately ate the detoxing vegetables. He also gave Teresa some, and she also transformed back into a human. Daniel took back his teleporting cape and a stone egg from the witch Lena. Regardless of how hard she cried, he decided not to free her. Lena, you will have to live as a donkey forever for your crimes. Daniel forgave Princess Teresa for what she did. Teresa hugged him happily. Teresa and the whole <laughs> castle finally were freed from Lena's spell. And everyone was so joyful. <laughs> finally, Daniel and Princess Teresa's grand wedding was held in the castle <laughs> and they lived happily together ever after. <laughs>